Iowa is often assumed to be rural, aging, and white. But from the prairie to the cities, Iowa is growing and changing with a Latin flavor. It's not uncommon to see Spanish in storefronts, whether you're in Des Moines or a small town like Perry. Dos papelitos cada vez que te viente la mano. Alma Gonzalez is a naturalized American citizen. She's lived in Iowa for 15 years. She runs a small business in Des Moines and is part of the growing Latino demographic here. You can find Latinos in, in West Des Moines, Ankeny, everything that's around you can find Latinos. The local branch of the League of United Latin American Citizens estimates there are about 173,000 Latinos in Iowa. The question for them is, how many of those folks are American citizens and how many can they get to caucus? We will call him. You probably have gotten some phone calls from us. Joe Henry leads the local chapter of LULAC in Des Moines. He has modest hopes get 10,000 Latinos to the caucuses. Uh, most of the caucus goers and prior caucuses are 45 and older and white. So this is going to be interesting because we're going to have a lot of young Latinos participating in the caucuses. They're going door to door Stop. three times a day. Oh. Oh. and using a database numbering in the tens of thousands to call Latinos in Iowa. I would like, would like to encourage you to attend one of the presidential caucuses. I came from Colombia, South America. Um, I'm living the, the dream here in the U.S. People like Juan Rodriguez. It's very important for us. If we don't decide for us, then we have to leave someone else for the side for us. Sofia Sandoval is politically active in the western part of the state. Montgomery. One of my jobs is to um, let know our community what's going on, you know, not only because I am a Latina, but also because it's important to vote. And I talked about the border very Many Latino voters we spoke with say Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's immigration stance is a prime motivator. We talk about it about Donald Trump because, you know, he's a negative person in our community. For Iowa's Latinos to organize and caucus. John Mon Associated Press, Des Moines, Iowa.